For the first time since a tornado hit the school back in March, Donaldson Christian Academy played a football game on their home field tonight. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon shows, it why, shows us why it means so much. Welcome back to Donaldson Christian Academy. It was a welcome sign. Football returning to Donaldson Christian Academy. We thought it would come. We weren't sure when. Seeing the team under the home Friday night lights provided some normalcy the school has craved during an unprecedented year. From going from the tornado to COVID to what we didn't get to do this summer to what we did get to do to the rebuild to things slowing down. Uh, all that's kind of behind us. Now it's just time for blocking and tackling. Clint Lewis's twin boys and the rest of the Wildcats started the season on the road because repairs to the home field weren't complete after a tornado tore through campus. He says it's been a memorable senior year for his sons. It's just been great for them, you know, to learn how just in life, how to overcome adversities. The impact of the tornado can still be felt on campus as rebuilding continues. Damaged buildings sit just feet from where David Francis and other parents tailgated before the game. The entire football field was replaced and new fencing, goalposts, scoreboard and lights were added. It's a, a big day for us because we've, we've been working so hard to get the school put back together. The game almost didn't happen. Their original opponent had to cancel due to COVID-19 cases and just yesterday, Summertown High School stepped into play. Then work began to get the field ready and make sure safety measures were in place. Good. Temperature checks and masks are required and fans kept their distance from others in the stands. While changes are in place, the familiar feel of football is the latest thing that's bringing DCA together. 2020 has been one for the books. In Donaldson, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. All right, Emily, thank you. DCA, by the way, still collecting donations to help with repairing the school. You can find more information under this story on our website, newschannel5.com.